What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate guide to Ken in Street Fighter 6. Today I'm giving you tips and tricks on how to play Ken, the best strategies that you need to be using, and of course some fun and easy combos that you can use today. Take it one step at a time. First and foremost, my dudes, if you enjoy Street Fighter content, make sure you subscribe here for more because we have new videos Monday and Friday. Also, keep in mind that I am using the modern controllers for this guide. However, everything you see showcased here can of course be utilized when using classic controls. So you're gonna notice that Ken is very similar to Ryu in the sense that we have a Shuriken, which is a great anti-air, and we even have a Hadouken that goes full screen. Now, let me state that Ken is absolutely not a zoner, but it is a good tool. Ken has a lot of tools in his tool belt that you can utilize in a lot of situations and the Hodokin is one of them. So a strategy that you can use in certain situations if your opponent is trying to zone you out, just zone them out, make them block or parry it. Then when they want jump, they're gonna jump over it. And then when they jump over it, just freaking shuriken them. Ken's got some great specials and one of my favorites is actually this back special kick. And the reason why it's got really good range, it's not full screen, but it's pretty dang close. Of course we have the Tatsu. And then we also have this Jinrai kick, which is actually very special, but at first glance, you might be thinking, that's kind of lame, it's just a kick. However, after that special, which is just your down special, you can follow it up with another down special, back special, or forward special to mix up your opponent. And what I mean by that is, let's say you do down special. That's an overhead, so it actually will break your opponent's block if they're crouching. And then we have back special, which is this low. And that's really cool. So they're not really like linkable. They can't really do a lot from that. They can block the next move. However, you are breaking your opponent's guard by mixing them up with an overhead or a low. And then when they don't know what to do, you can go up and grab them. So you have a few options after your Jinrai kick. You really want to mix it up. And a great tool with that kick is you can actually overdrive it and get more hits on all your combos there. So watch this. So you can jump in with a medium kick, get the overhead, then go for the low and get the mix up. Speaking of medium kick in the air, that is Ken's best cross up kick. So if you really want to mix it up, that's going to cross up your opponent. Go from that to low medium kick for easy combos. Ken is super offensive. Yes, we have the Hadouken for defense if we need to in an anti air. Yes, but Ken is so offensive that we have a quick dash. And no, I don't mean just a normal dash like every character has like this. We have a physical quick dash. Almost full screen that we can attack from. So for modern players, that is medium and heavy together for a nice quick dash to really close that distance from you and your opponent to get in their face. Now, the reason why that quick dash is so important to you as a moveset is because you can do so much from it. During your dash, you can press light to cancel it and just stop in your tracks. So if you see your opponent is like waiting for you, just stop yourself. You can do medium during it for an overhead. You can't lean from that, unfortunately, but it's an overhead. Then you just go for the low to mix it up. And then heavy during the quick dash is actually this nice long reaching kick to just stump your opponent with whatever they're doing. Not only that, but you can special out of your quick dash. So for an example, you know our like back kick here. Yeah, you can do that from the quick dash. And as you see, we get fired on it from the quick dash. Whereas normally we don't, unless we enhance it. But we get it anyways from the quick dash. So we're really closing in the distance. I can go the distance. You can do down special from it for a Tatsu. And the crazy thing is you can do quick dash down special Tatsu from a combo. So you can do medium punches into a quick dash into the Tatsu. Bring him in the corner, then once you're there, go for an overdrive combo. Not only that, but you can Shuriken from the quick dash. And the one thing I want to note is it does more damage from the quick dash than by itself. So you see here by itself, Shuriken is 1040 damage. From the quick dash, it's 1360 damage. And we're using no bars to get that. And same thing, you can do that in a combo. So for the run up strategy, what I would do is mix up as much as you can. So if you want, you can run up and then go for your specials or you can run up overhead, then go for the low combo. Ken has a great mix-up game and you really want to keep your opponent guessing on what you're gonna do. Don't forget you also have an aerial Tatsu as well. So basically a nice aerial special you can use for guarding your back while you're jumping in if you need to. So thus far we already have a couple of strategies with Ken, including our Hadouken. Condition our opponent to jump and then anti-air them if needed. Or if they're expecting the anti-air, we can rush up after the Hadouken and kind of just do whatever we need to, including the lows. You can Hadouken, then go for the overheads. Another great strategy if they're expecting the anti-air while you're Hadouken is just quick dash. Or make them block the Hadouken and then run up and grab. 
Your quick dash should be utilized a lot. It is the best tool to close the distance. Now for some fun and easy combos you can pick up with Ken today. Of course we have our staple jump in medium kick, low medium kick into a special. We have our quick dash combos from the medium punches. And you can do any special during that quick dash combo. You can even do a quick dash combo into a super. And all supers work for that too. You have a jump in medium kick to medium kicks combo. Some nice corner overdrive combos are simple and easy with your medium punch into any special. You can do the overdrive somersault kick into a super as well from the overdrive. I hope this helped you on your journey to learn Ken in Street Fighter 6. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below, what do you think of Ken in Street Fighter 6? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Let me know down below. Remember, as you're starting this journey, take it one step at a time, and I will see you in the next one.